This video is brought to you by PCBWay.com, an awesome place to get low-cost circuit boards and also low-cost assembly services and much more like 3D print services all at one great place. PCBWay.com, get yours today. Did you know that you can make a flash drive yourself at home? For example, with an iPhone 6S that's laying around that you don't even use that you're about to throw away per perhaps um, well what you have to do is get the main board of your iPhone 6s and hope that the flash NAND memory is working is intact you just desolder it from the uh, from the main board of your iPhone 6s and you clean the pad like this one you clean it with a soldering iron for example with this one just clean it on the underside not this side but the other side once it's cleaned you just uh, um, well solder it again on this PCB when you solder it on the PCB you're not done what you have to do is flash the right firmware on the controller and when you flash the right firmware, you will see it's gonna recognize it as a USB uh, flash drive. Um, this memory that I soldered onto this, onto here, is a 64 gigabytes of uh, flash NAND memory, which is a Apple LGA 60SM3267L. And as I said, it's it has a USB 3.0 controller, and it's a Hynix E NAND flash. So I already did everything that I mentioned except for testing it out for uh, speeds and whatever whatsoever to see if it's performing as it should or as it would have. So and uh, it has also a housing. Let me show you a housing from uh, Kensington. This. These are all the parts that you need to assemble it. And once you assemble it, it looks just like a flash drive that you might buy from a store. So let's log in. And now I have to work with one hand. So I'm gonna plug the flash drive in to a USB A port with a smooth motion, preferable. There we go. And all looking well. So now I'm going to copy a large file, which is, I think, three or four gigabytes. I'm not sure. It's 2.9. So it's copying. And the speed that it's giving me is 18 megabits per second or megabytes per second. Okay, it's uh, it's acceptable. It's not that fast, but I think this can go up to sixty or something, sixty-ish, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, um, because I already made a couple of these, and I know they can go up to sixty-seven or sixty-eight. Uh, depends on the file that you're copying. Uh, sometimes they just if if the files are divided into smaller proportions, it takes well the speed will stay like this. Um, but it's a it's a nice experiment that that can go like well, and uh, if you have nothing to do, you can make yourself a flash drive, and um, once you make it, you can just use it as a normal flash drive and uh, well you can just uh, brag about it <laughs> anyways guys thank you for watching this video hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this in the future bye